Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I would like to run you through how to edit, adjust and save your own profile using Link Studio. My first advice would be to pick one of the nine default profile styles that you like that have been provided to you in the profile packs. Put your data into the Link app and get the profile number suggested. After doing a roast, you can then extract the profile from the log. To do this, open up a roast log. Go to the Files tab in the top menu bar, and then click on Extract Profile from the log. Make sure to note the logged crack time compared to the default crack time noted on the reference curve. With the profile extracted, let's get to editing. If you would like to match the curve shape of the logged curve, we would use the mouse cursor to drag the different temperature points up or down. Alternatively, to make very small increases, you can select a temperature point and amend the temperature setting for this point in the bottom left of the studio. Doing this will give you more finite control when targeting very specific adjustments. To add an additional temperature point to a profile, select the temperature point that is located before where you would like to add the new point. Then go to the top menu tab called Draw. Then select Insert Point. Then drag the new temperature point into a position you like and continue to edit the roast curve. A thing to note is that by increasing or lowering the last or second last temperature point, this can impact the development percentages and termination points. The red dot shown is the default termination setting. This is the default point that the profile will end the roast on for the particular roast level it is currently set up for. This number represents the amount of temperature increase targeted from the point of first crack to the end of the roast to make this increase greater or to make it lower. Use the roast level setting in the bottom right of the studio. If the level doesn't let you roast the coffee dark enough or to a development percentage greater than 22%, we can edit the range of these numbers quite easily. To do this, you will first need to make sure your studio difficulty is on expert or engineer mode. This is done by clicking up the top on options and then selecting your difficulty. Next, click on the profile setting tab. Scroll to the bottom. When you reach the seven number sequence at the bottom, you will need to edit the last one or two numbers. Doing this will allow you to increase the roast degree. Note that each of the seven numbers needs to increase on the preceding by at least 1.1 degrees Celsius. By increasing this number, you can see our maximum roast degree from the point of first crack to termination is also increased. Let's move on to the first crack. The yellow line shows the point in the roast where the default first crack temperature is likely to be reached. This value can be edited by changing the number on the right in the middle of the studio. By increasing or decreasing the value of the end temperature point, we can make the time of crack earlier or later. Next, let's discuss how to change the development percentage. This is done by editing these temperature points up or down, doing so for the last temperature points towards the end of the roast will result in a change in the percentage of the entire time spent after the first crack. When editing the temperature points, we notice that the rate of rise line is also moved. To have the best rate of rise between the temperature points, I highly recommend you use the smooth point feature. By clicking this, we notice this will smooth the rate of rise and the profile curve at the same time between the temperature point selected and the other points to the right and left. Alternatively, if you want to smooth all points at the same time, you can select the Smooth All feature. This is found at the very bottom of the Draw tab in the top menu bar. When we select this, it adjusts all the points at the same time. To get the best roast curve possible from the temperature points we have established. A thing to note here. 
it's advised against amending the very first temperature point at the start of the roast. Doing so may compromise the preheat cycle that makes link roast enjoyment straight off roast unique. Creating the perfect profile requires patience and often many small adjustments in order to get all the parameters exactly where you would like them. Please note that it is recommended users do not actively look to change any other backend setting unless experienced in what they relate to. Messing around with settings without knowing the outcome can seriously damage your link and void your warranty. When you have finished editing and with your perfect profile created, let's proceed to save it. First, click on about this profile. Here you can change the profile name to what you like. Next, click on the Files tab in the top drop-down menu. Select Save As. If a pop-up screen shows up giving advice on any recommended changes to back-end settings, it's encouraged that you agree for the system to update the settings to the new recommendations. After clicking OK, proceed to change the name here to your desired preference. Make sure to save it in the location titled Roast Profiles. Once saved, if you would like to send this new profile to your roaster, it will be accessible via user inbox. Open that up and select your profile. And that is a wrap. Hopefully, it has allowed you to understand all of the steps involved in customizing and refining any of your roast profiles. As always, happy roasting.